Our cat never cared very much in terms of their size difference. He's never been afraid of Xander. Xander is a good sport about it. Obviously, I would be there to monitor and make sure that nobody was getting hurt. Xander, don't squish him. When people ask me which one's the problem child, it's Elias. He took my house by storm from the moment he came in. He can get into everything and anything. Xander has always been a worry wart. You got stuck? How are you gonna get out of there? He's always been nervous. My roommate brought home a crystal. Absolute meltdown. That was like at least 15 minutes of confidence building just for him to stop barking at it. Good boy, buddy. Good job, good touch. Good boy. Elias knows when Xander is scared, if he sees that Xander's having that bit of anxiety. Elias will just walk right up to it. He's like, what are we afraid of? Oh, okay. Elias definitely knows that something's going on. Xander will lay down and Elias gets on him and he will knead and soothe Xander. It's just that moment where you see them together and you can't help smile. Xander takes it all in stride. He's happy to have them. I mean, he'll rub his whole body on Xander. He'll rub his head. He purrs super loud. He only does it to Xander. If we go for a walk, I will leave the window open. And so Elias will hop up because he does not like to be left behind. When we come back, it's like, oh my goodness, you're home. When I come home, I do not get that greeting. It is solely reserved for Xander coming home. He'll say hello, and Elias will kind of weave himself around in his legs and say hi and check him out, and it's a lot of purring. I didn't expect for them to really have a relationship the way that they do. Both Elias and Xander were like, this is good, I like you, you're great, you can hang around. And it's gotten better from there.